99X and the Morning X. It's Barnes. It's Leslie. And Fram, you know, I'm sitting here sipping my fabulous thing that people tell me I'm going to die for. Well, because you have too many. Not that it's just the one, but you drink it all day. It's called Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Blood drink belt. it. Not opposed. Mm. I'm just saying you drink too many. I don't drink it all day. But anyway, the thing I don't understand, and I wanted to bring someone on. This is a, a former 99X listener, who, which needs to be a current one, who lives in New York now, but is a writer for a very big publication, and her name is Amanda Mull. She writes a staff writer for The Atlantic. Hey, Amanda. Hey. Good it's morning. It's great to be here. You, uh, you, so you grew up here and you listened to 99X? Yes, I grew up in Marietta, born and raised, uh, nice. went to Lasseter High School, listened to 99X uh, my entire childhood uh, and through college. Well, we're back, Amanda. Yeah, get that. Come on. Hey, hey Alexa, play 99X <laughs> is all you have to say. Okay, so I-, I saw this piece you wrote in The Atlantic about this stupid Stanley Cup. Barnes. Barnes. W- what? It's not stupid. It, it literally is on. the only thing that fits in the cup holder in my car. How many do you have? I have two. That's ridiculous. I have a beige one and a gold one. Amanda, you have one of these dumb things? I have I have one, so I'm the middle ground here. Um, and it's 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 blue and speckled. But guys, oh, this is nice. more I think it's more of a lady thing than than a guy thing. But it's so stupid that for the Atlantic you wrote a feature piece. Because it's it. a phenomenon. It is a phenomenon. Um, the Stanley has been popular for several ne- years now, but it has recently reached a level of viral fame that has sort of escaped contain on the people who are generally interested in the Stanley, which you're right, is mostly women. It, ha- it has to be. But, it's I mean, great for a small hands. It has a handle. Okay, whatever. By the no- <laughs> But what the memes about it being like this huge, massive thing are also funny where people try to carry like, you know, people making fun of their wives. But I mean, the numbers don't lie. The Stanley annual revenue from seventy three million in two thousand nineteen to last year's seven hundred and fifty million. That's insane. And I actually gave a few as Christmas presents. Why? Uh, we should we should have Morning X instead of having Morning X fragrance. Uh, what are they called? Yeah, air, air fresheners. fresheners. We should have a Morning X Stanley. We should have a Morning X Stanley if it's really that big of a deal. But w- what is it, Amanda? Why is this a big deal? Well, I think um, I wrote back in 2018, 2019 about how water bottles in general were like a new kind of status symbol. And, you know, before reusable water bottles became the thing uh, in the 90s, it was Evian bottles and and other brands of like sort of fancy bottled water. So this idea that you're sort of telegraphing the fact that you're um, you're well hydrated, you're paying attention to your wellness, to your health is itself sort of a status symbol. So these have been coming on for a while. And then um, during the pandemic, the Stanley uh, as like the new model that everybody had to have sort of took off. Um, And I think that that is, you know, there's good uh, physical reasons for that. It fits in the car, as Leslie said, it's good for small hands uh, with the handle. Um, A lot of high capacity water bottles are a little hard to grip. And then it has all these crazy colors, which people like. How did it all start, though, the resurgence? Was it a TikTok thing? Well, it started all the way back in 2017. Um, Stanley, as, as a lot of listeners probably know, is a company that's been around for like a century, more than a century. Its most famous product before this was a was also a water bottle um, or an insulated drinking vessel that uh, was really popular with construction workers and people who spend a lot of time outdoors. Um, they have a patent going back uh one of the longest ever for this insulation. Um, And they're, you know, in 2017, some, uh, uh, some Mormon bloggers got a hold of the cup. And that's all it takes. Well, but there, I mean, is it psychological or is it status? You know, you're, you're mentioning all these things, which is kind of a perfect storm or is it technology because it fits in the cup holder? Was that good planning or, you know, a lot of the, write-ups now are saying that this whole water thing is a sham about how much water you're supposed to drink now anyway it's so funny you can't if you don't drink enough they yell at you if you drink too much they yell at you so all these studies come out now that's saying over drinking is much more dangerous than dehydration well, overdrinking is dangerous, but it is really, really difficult to overdrink. You have to basically right. drown yourself internally, and like most people are not going to do that. So I don't think that's a real it's concern just funny most people should have. That everyone gets lit up on everything these days. Well, I have to say, um, I had a kidney stone years ago, and the doctor said to me, "You're not drinking enough water. You need to drown yourself in water." 
So Barnes, remember that huge gallon thing yes. that I used to do? It was too much. I did it for a year. The queef, right? The que- yes. The queef it. Or what was it called? The que- That's we we joked around about. That's what I thought it was called. But queef it. This is actually the the Stanley is actually perfect because it's like forty ounces or whatever. So and I can I can handle that. But Amanda, have you seen the articles where kids are getting shamed at school that have the knockoffs and not the real Stanleys? Oh, come on. Yes. And this is <laughs> this is one of those things that like it brought me directly back to middle school when everybody needed to have the Umbro soccer shorts. And if you had like the off brand Walmart soccer shorts, you were not cool. Everybody was going to make fun of you. Kids find ways to arrange themselves by status. Um, and it, it totally makes sense. I think that this is just the next way. Yeah, what about the kids in Atlanta who didn't pay their bill and had to eat cheese sandwiches, you know, and they don't have their Stanley Cup? But how much of the um, driver in that 750 for Stanley, in the 750 million in revenue last year, was the huge amount of press they got for that car that blew up and nothing survived but that Stanley Cup? Now I'm wondering if that was a plant. You know, a lot of people have asked me about this, and I think that it's actually relatively little um, because the Stanley phenomenon has been growing um, in like a lot of parts of the internet for quite a while. And then there are these events that happen, whether it's the car on fire or the um, the Target riots <laughs> that yeah, sort of the limited sort of, edition ones yes. and people rioted at Target. Yeah, these sort of events bring knowledge of the phenomenon to new sets of people for whom it is um, novel. But you know, the the internet is full of weird corners and groups that you may not yeah. be familiar with. And oh, we, like no, the, we're familiar. We go to all of them. Don't the Stan, worry. The Stanley people have been going strong in re- pretty large numbers for, for a number of years now. We're talking to Amanda Mull with The Atlantic who wrote an article about the uh, Stanley success and phenomenon. Did you see the story of the woman who stole a bunch of the Stanleys and they were in her truck trunk? She like went out uh, and went to some store, I guess grabbed a bunch of them and put them in the trunk of her car. Yes, and then she this this was so funny because then she got pulled over and the cops who pulled her over put them all out on the hood of their car like they had just busted like arms dealers. <laughs> they get so much press. <laughs> yeah, they, they took a picture and this picture went viral. I, several people sent it to me like they had just, um, you know, that they had just made society safer by uh, taking all of these Stanleys away from this <laughs> this woman who had terrorized um, probably a target. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. I just get a bottle and refill it. I buy whatever the bottle I think looks cool on the aisle, and I'll go multiple days. And I know, I know all the particles from plastic and all the bacteria, but guess who uses zero sick days in 35 years? Me. So you don't want me to send you a Stanley for your birthday? I don't want it. I don't want to carry around some piece of luggage to drink out of. (laughs) I love my Stanley. Amanda, thank you for joining us. This is just nuts. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you so much for having me. I thought SNL roasted it pretty well. Have women killed for this cup? Almost, and a bunch. <laughs> this is the cup that says, I'm a virgin, but I also have six kids. <laughs> <laughs> and it says to the world, when Trader Joe's drops a new snack, I touch myself. <laughs> and it's the cup that says, I start decorating for Christmas tomorrow. <laughs> Big dumb cup. <laughs> Mmm, you can really taste the bacteria. (laughs) I'm getting lead. If your car explodes, you won't survive, but your big dumb cup will. The morning, the morning. The morning X with Barnes and Leslie. You might be asking yourself, does it get worse? The answer is yes. Weekdays 6 to 10, 99X.